This is Brent Willett. I wanted to uh, go over how you can use Zaxworks Pro Animator inside of After Effects to add 3D text to a uh, scene of video. I made this open for Iowa Public Television in their show uh, called Iowa Land and Sky and they had all this great drone footage and they wanted to use some of those shots and put the text for the, each location in the, the shot as if it was part of that scene. So in After Effects we can take a, a clip of video like one of the clips from that open uh, the easiest way to make a comp out of it is to drag it down into this icon here, so I'll do that. First thing we need to do is track it here in After Effects. So we'll highlight the layer, go to Animation, and Track Camera. Now it says Analyzing in Background. That's actually what it's doing. If you have something else to work on, you could go to another comp and work on that, and this would still keep working. But for now, we're just going to sit here and wait for it. And here we are. In real time, that took about 45 seconds or so. But you can see now it has added these color, colored X's that are uh, markers in the scene. And we can use those to uh, pinpoint where we want to put our text. So if I hover down here, you see you get this big disk. That's a representative of a, a plane. It's using these markers to, to pick out a plane. So we need to pick one that's about the right position and orientation that we want the text to be at. That one looks pretty good. So we right click and we get these options here and in this case we want create null and camera. So it'll create a 3D null and a camera. And there's the null there. And you can see that that's attached right to the ground down there. Now what we need to do is add a new layer, solid. This will be our pro animator layer. Let's call it Animator text, we'll make sure it's comp size. Click OK. Then we need to add our effect, Zaxworks Pro Animator. And right away we get these options, and what we want is text, so let's do create 3D text and we'll type it up. And we'll adjust our and we'll adjust our letting our kerning, tighten it up a little bit. Click OK and there's our text. Now to add it in we have to use the comp camera so we'll check that. And now it's using the comp camera, it's looking at the camera and you can scrub through and you can see it's kind of moving along but it's not in, in any way nailed to the scene, attached to the scene, it's just kind of floating in space somewhere not really sure where. Now we could try to move it around and manually position it down here but that would take a lot of trial and error to try to get it in just the right place if we want to lock it into that scene we need to put it right where that null is and that's what this tracker is for so we can use this feature here twirl this down and we can actually pick our track null as our tracker now nothing happened because we have to actually go into the pro animator interface to tell this text to use that tracker. So let's click here and we'll go into the Pro Animator interface. So here we have the object list. Anything that we had in our scene will be here and this is where our text block is. Here down here is our timeline. If we were going to animate anything we would do it here and here down here would be the controls for that. We're not going to actually animate anything but we do want to highlight this object track and then come down here to where it says no parent and we're going to parent this to the external tracker that we chose already. So we'll do that and then we'll click OK. And back in After Effects you can see it snapped to where that null is. So now if we move ahead in the timeline it's actually tracking right where that null is right on the ground. Now it's on its back because the null is turned that way so we need to go to our null grab a rotation tool here and just kind of rotate it back the way it should be now it doesn't update uh, as we're doing it live so we have to go back to the Pro Animator text layer and click this update tracking button and then it will update and we can see that it's still locked into our scene now one thing's a little bit off because we can see that our null and the anchor point of our null is in this top corner here is right in the middle of our two lines of text and we actually want 
the bottom of our word trail to be up here because this is where the ground is. So we need to go back into ProAnimator and we can see if we move around here we've got our grid floor that it's actually the floor is in the middle of our text. This blue line and red line where it meets here that's kind of the zero point. So we need to move our text up. So we'll highlight our object track, come down here to the XYZ controls and move it up. And We can actually change our camera to a front camera that takes away the perspective and we can get it right on this this white and red line here is what we want so we get that right there and we can go back to our user camera and click OK and there it jumps to the top of that null now we've got it way too big so we can go to this null hit S for scale scale it down and maybe we want to move it over a little bit to get it away from these pillars so we'll do that and we'll adjust it update the tracking and there there we go we can do a quick RAM preview here and we can see how that 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 text is now anchored to the scene exactly in the place that we want it and it's moving along perfectly well really cool now we take a look at the finished open I had we can see on some of these other shots like here have the train going in front of the text so that would be one thing you'd have to rotoscope that train to put it in front of the text you can do that very easily with mocha it takes a little bit of work and it's time consuming but if you go up to animation track in mocha AE you could track that train part and use some mocha masks to uh, mask this off same kind of thing here with this crane going in front of the text um, I did some other compositing to make it look like it was kind of sitting in this in this field in this grass here um, here in this shot I actually was able to use the roto brush on this on these leaves and it worked surprisingly well and to be able to re reveal that text and I put a curve on this text in in pro animator so there's there's then and the reflections down here in the water so there's all these these things that you can do to to make it look like it's a little bit more part of the scene but for the basic placement of it it's a really pretty easy process so that's working on some 3d letters tracked into video using Zaxworks Pro Animator inside of After Effects thanks for watching